Hey guys, Vitaly here, and today I want to go over how to wire an LED strip. But first, let's go over what we're going to need for this. So I want to show you everything we're going to need for this project. We're going to start with our LED driver, uh, the AC line and neutral. This is where the 120 volt power goes. Line is your black, neutral is your white, and the connections are just under here. They're just going to go under those screws. And on the DC side, you have your positive, which is red, and your negative, which is black. And it looks the same under this one. We're going to use this connector for our tape strip. It'll just slide onto the end and just close tight. This one is optional. If you have, if you reach the end of your tape strip, but you need to go longer, you can just take a new piece and just join the two together. One end here, one end here. Close them. Just make sure that the positives and negatives line up on the same side. So if you have the positive on this side on one strip, make sure that it's also on this side on the other strip. And your negative is here, and your negative is here. Or the other way is negatives on top, positives on the bottom. Just make sure they line up. We have a single color LED tape strip here. You can see where it shows the scissor markings. This is where you can cut the strip right down this line. And it indicates your negative and your positive for your red and your black. So always make sure these line up when you're connecting them. And optional here, we have an aluminum channel with a frosted lens here. If you, uh, it's just optional if you want to maybe make it look nicer, you can use this too. And I'm going to be using a small terminating screwdriver and a pair of my strippers here. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut my tape strip to the desired length. Now I want to fit it into, inside of this aluminum channel, so I'm going to cut it right here along the scissor marks. Then I'm going to put it inside the connector. So I have my red on top, my black on the bottom. So I want to make sure my positive is on top. I'll have to use the other end of the tape strip and just slide it in and kind of just wiggle it under there and tighten it. Sometimes I got to use these strippers to actually really get it closed. Now if I wanted to, if this was the end of the roll and I wanted to uh, join another piece to it, I'll just show you how that would look. I would tape, I take this other piece Slide it in there, it's not always easy, but it'll go. Now again, I want to match up my positive is on top, negative on the bottom. So the next piece, positive on top, negative on the bottom. And close it tight. Now, I might want to go and stick it to this channel. I'm just going to peel off the sticky back. Now remember, if you're using a really long piece of tape, you don't want to peel everything all at once. We'll just tape it in here. We can cover this. 
if you're going to be covering it with a lens cover. I find it's easier to kind of bend it upwards and just kind of slide your fingers across to really get it in there. Okay. Now we'll make the DC connections. So negative will go here. Positive will go here. And then we'll make our 120 volt connections. White on the neutral. Black on the line. And then we'll power this. So now that you know how to connect the tape strip, I'll show you two options of how to put the whole system together. Option one, the power comes into the switch. When you turn on the switch, it'll come into the driver, which normally I would put inside of a junction box. And I have another one here, another type of transformer, just so you can see that there are different types. And this one doesn't really have any uh, options for mounting. So I would just put it in here and wire it up. Now from here, the 12 volts DC will go and power up your tape strip. Option number two, the 120 volt power will come into the driver first, then 12 volts DC will go to the switch and from the switch up to the tape strip. Now one thing uh, to know it, at the switch box, the black negatives will be spliced straight through and the red positives will go to the screw terminals. And it doesn't matter if it goes on a top screw, bottom screw, which one's which, it works the same. So you can put it on any screw. Okay guys, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please hit the like button below and subscribe to this channel so I can bring you more videos in the future.